This question is about how to handle people who are, it's hard to take advice. So what, what can we do? Now first also we have to discern the person. So this is something we need to do all the time. For instance, in a family situation, the in-laws are very hard to change. Don't think of changing the in-laws. Changing, trying to change the in-laws and tell them, you have to do this, do that. You're going to break up the relationship very easily that it happens. Because unless if they are Christian and they all love God, and then you can talk about things very, very freely. So there are people, we just, you just have to accept that they are like that. They won't change. And you might not be able to advise your boss. <laughs> Unless if your boss is very open, very humble. Okay, now husband and wife, you would discern. Actually, advice is usually something hard to take for anyone. When you try to advise your wife, um, can you be nice to people as I am? <laughs> nice to them. <laughs> she was, you're saying that I'm not nice to people. You're accusing me. Yeah. And all kinds of feelings come up. Yeah. The best is not to advise. The best is to explore ways to discuss the situation. And think about the difficulties. This is very key. Think about the difficulties. Maybe your wife has problems relating to people. Now some wives have problem relating to a number of people and then they don't like to meet many people and talk with many people and so it's very hard for for her to be nice and friendly to, with many people and so some wives are like that some wives are friendly with everyone yeah. so you try to change her it's very hard yeah. but you can understand her and when you're with people how do you feel understand her perspective it's very important to change people's is to understand the perspective. She will tell you, from childhood, it's very hard for me to mingle with people. I don't have many friends. I, I don't know how to relate to many people, so I avoid group activities. I avoid talking with people. You understand that? Actually, we should have understood, understood it before we get married. And now you understand it. Then you say, how can I change her? Not by telling, next time I'm with people, can you be friendly and nice to people. It's not going to work. But you can ask her, how can I help you better? And uh, what do you prefer to do? And accept that she won't change right away. And give her room. Maybe gradually she will change. So husband and wife has to be very, uh, you know, um, careful. Now how about church members? Church members <coughs> have some problems. How can we do? What can we do? Again, it's very difficult. If a Christian sleep when he listen, hear the sermon, what can we do? One way is to teach in public, and so it's not just to one person. It's not just to one person, it's to everyone. When we come to the Lord, let's all stay awake. If you cannot stay awake, you can stand up to the side or to the back, and then you can move yourself, then you can listen to the sermon easier. Uh, and now it depends on the what it is. Some things are very small. Some things are more serious. If someone hurts other people constantly, that has to be handled. Then it's still best to explore. Um, ask the person, how do you feel when you are with other people? Maybe the person says, I don't like people. I think many people hurt me. And then you understand that. And from their perspective to help them, it's easier than to say, friend, I noticed that you said negative things to people and people told me that and then they don't like it. Uh, can you change and you repent? <laughs> and you find that many, many people will just walk away from the church. Um, so it's best to approach a person from his perspective and to help. Now, how about with workers together? It depends, again, it's big thing or small thing. Small thing, sometimes you cannot change them. Big thing, you have to ask the wisdom, have the wisdom. The, the best is to care about a person and approach from their perspective. So, for people who are hard to accept advice, I would say, 
except that they are like that. But the Bible does say that we should advise each other so that they won't fall into sin. So we should, you know, exhort each other. But we don't go around and exhort each, other, each person. Oh, you came to church late. Oh, you didn't pray. Oh, you did, you did not cry out to God. You did not clap your hands. Oh, you did not, you're not nice to your family members. You go to everyone like that your church. Very soon you lose everybody. We don't go to everyone to tell them the problems. Only problems when we think that this person is mature enough to accept. So this is something we need to handle with care. You think about yourself. When people give you suggestion, how do you feel? Do you feel happy? Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I told myself to say that to people. When people give me suggestions, thank you for telling me. It is not my nature, but because I want to grow in the Lord, I tell myself, tell the person, thank you for telling me. When my wife, wife gave me suggestion, I said, thank you. And I, my wife said a few times to me, you are very humble to accept my suggestions. And I choose to do that. It's not my natural tendency, yeah. it's my choice. Yeah.